Hi everyone, my name is Dabika and I'm your Techie Tantrika. Can I just start by saying I'm so grateful to be talking to you guys this week. I had the stomach flu for like about a week and I mean it's been going around and just um, really taking people down and I just was sitting there lying on my like what felt like my deathbed being like I gotta get this video done get this happening. But here I am. The power of uh, positive thinking, maybe? I'm just really grateful to be here in front of all of you right now. So this week, I plan on looking at online dating profiles. And this is one of my favorite things to look at because I'm actually really good at assessing people from their photos. And I think that comes around mostly through just being intuitive. Photos are really nice because when photos are taken, people tend to kind of show themselves like they don't have barriers up usually because they're not expecting people to, you know, read their photos, I guess. And so it's really good to the point actually where I've had people pay me to actually look at photos of people they're about to go on dates on to give them a pretty good personality assessment. Um, I would really love to be able to teach it to people. I think it's a great survival tactic for one, um, but also it's just, you know, really nice to have. So anyways, uh, online dating profile pictures. So the first type of photo I want to start off with are smiling photos. Smiling photos are actually really great when they're authentic smiles because those actually help people get more um, engagement going with their profile. It's been proven that people who have photos of them smiling um, actually get more responses on online dating sites. So if you have a really nice photo of you authentically smiling and you're on online dating sites, I recommend starting off maybe with one of those. Another kind of photo I think that's really worth putting up are pictures of you in formal attire. So suits, dresses, the whole nine yards, anything that you really feel really great in, put it up. I like to look at formal attire pictures like I would if I was, let's say, doing a tarot card spread. So if you've ever done a tarot card reading or have had one done for you, Generally speaking, if you've had more than one card down, you don't just look at them individually, you look at them as a whole. So in this case, I recommend not to just focus on that one photo, of course, but to look at all of them, because all of them should be able to give you a good story as to what this person's really all about. The other kind of photos that I'm thinking of are the gym photos. Now, I've got absolutely nothing against this. If you got it flaunted and talking about, you know, your usual swimsuit, bikini, leg type thing, your gym selfies, that sort of thing. If you are proud of whatever you've got going on, sure, why not show a little bit of that, you know? Basically, with this type of photo, you want to look at a few things. How many of these photos does a person have posted? the positioning of this type of photo in the person's profile and how much stuff they've actually put in the actual profile. So if this photo's managed to surface to the front of this person's um, profile stack, I'd say they're probably on there for a hookup, especially if like their profile's not filled out. If they've actually gone through the process of trying to just show a bit about themselves in their profile and they're actually saying even that they're looking for a long-term relationship, and the gym selfies made its way into like the third or fourth or later photo, chances are the person's probably looking for something and trying to take a stab at like finding something more long term. So in that case, yeah, sure, why not give it a shot and see where it goes. But yeah, that's pretty much it for gym selfies. And then you have the party goers. Um, so you've got the more conservative party goer that's like drinking that red random cup of like beer, you know, whatever, scotch <laughs> in a cup. And then you've got like your hardcore partiers that are like, I've got seven bottles of hard liquor in front of me and I'm not afraid to drink these alone tonight. I obviously wouldn't recommend that. But anyways, if you're a party goer, you might want to find another party goer. That's perfectly cool. If you're looking for something more serious and maybe you're shying away from the party scene, you might obviously want to go for somebody who's got the more conservative party thing going on or no party pictures at all. But, you know, just a thought. Within this realm of interesting party pictures, you will also might come across pictures of people who are maybe posing in front of various exotic cars that aren't theirs, 
um, people who are rolling around in money. I am weary of people that are doing this sort of thing on their profile pictures because I'm trying to understand what they're trying to tell me. I'm sitting there thinking, I don't really want to date Scarface. I, if I'm looking for something on a long-term basis, I'm not looking for the Popo to show up or the Mafia to show up at my door or I'm not looking for a poser. I would proceed with caution with people who are just trying to exude a certain lifestyle that A might not be their lifestyle or B if it is their lifestyle they're doing a pretty crappy job of hiding it. This one's a tough one for me because it really... Mm. People who decide that when they go on an exotic trip, it's wise to take a picture with a sedated tiger chained up to a wall. I personally don't understand A, what a person who does this is trying to tell me, and B, understand why people are paying into something that's taking us back up like freaking 300 years in animal rights movements. I'm sorry, but how would you feel if I sedated you and chained you to a wall? Don't answer that. I'm just gonna say flat out no to these people. Like, I just, once again, not Scarface and not really showing any sort of consideration for any other, like, living being. Kind of makes me wonder about that person's self-care in general because if they can't empathize with what's wrong in that situation, I have no time for that. And I'm personally gonna say that neither should somebody else who's looking for somebody who's empathetic. So here's an interesting one. Um, photos of people who are posing with the gender they're attracted to. So let's say in a heterosexual situation, a man posing with a woman or a woman posing with a man. In a case like that, and it's clearly not a family member, I usually look at this as that's the standard of person you are looking for. So basically when I see, for example, somebody posing with a promo model or an import model, I'm thinking to myself, that's kind of what you're hoping to find in a significant other, perhaps, or that's what you expect that person to eventually magically turn into. And that tells me two things. That's their standard, and this person's really heavy on the physical appearance side of things. So this is definitely something to keep in mind when looking at people who have photos like this. And the last one I like to cover all the time, like this is my absolute favorite, people who pose with babies and pets. When you look at the relationship between a person and the baby or pet that they're holding, it's really important to see the reaction of that other being's face. You look at people who look like they're super bonding with the child or the pet, um, and you could tell that they took care into holding that being or <laughs> exact opposite. Like sometimes people literally just take these photos for their online dating profiles. So sometimes the baby or the pet looks like they're being held hostage. Is this person trying to look like something that they're not? Um, also, it also shows you, gives you a good understanding as to how caring they are when they touch too. Are they taking attention, the attention that it takes to actually hold the being that they're holding, or are they just being haphazard about it and not really paying attention to how the other being is reacting to them? This is something that's really important to look at. This is like a super bonus tip that I actually <laughs> like to throw in there. So these are my tips for looking at uh, online dating profile pics. Please feel free to add your own favorite tips in the comments below. Um, I do hope you liked this video and I look forward to seeing you next week. And please also feel free to subscribe so that we can continue this journey into self-exploration and the world of online dating. <laughs> Until next week, everybody, take care.